Hey class, uh, so for today's lesson we're going to be talking about the perimeter of composite shapes. So the other day we talked about the area of composite shapes. Um, so the strategies are very uh, similar as we used uh, the last day. Uh, you want to divide uh, the shape into recognizable shapes. And uh, here's one catch. You may have to use the Pythagorean theorem that we used uh, or we learned about a few days ago to, in order to find uh, some of the unknown sides. Okay, so just to review a little bit, uh, again, the perimeter is the outside distance around the object. Uh, so therefore, if you do um, split up some of the shapes, uh, don't include any lengths uh, on the inside of a shape uh, when you go to separate some of these shapes. And just uh, quickly reviewing the Pythagorean theorem, remember we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find uh, the length of any of these sides using any of these formulas. Uh, remember the, the most common form is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Uh, also if you want to find what the length of side a is, the form is a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. And if you want to find uh, this length b, you can use this formula b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. So now I want to take a look at the example on page 116. It's number 1AI, and we have this diagram. And you can sort of see that there is a rectangle uh, with a triangle. And remember that these dash marks indicate that these sides are equivalent. So if this side is labeled 4 centimeters, that means this side is also 4 centimeters. This side here is also 4 centimeters. And the double hashed uh, lines mean that these two sides are equivalent so that means this side down here on the bottom is also six centimeters. So now that we have all the information uh, for the dimensions of all the lengths of this shape uh, you simply have to um, in order to calculate the perimeter we just simply have to add up all the different lengths around this shape. So the perimeter therefore is four centimeters uh, plus 6 centimeters, plus 4 centimeters, plus 4 centimeters, plus 6 centimeters. I add up all these numbers and I get 24 centimeters. And um, we'll talk more about um, concluding statements when you do questions uh, for assignments and tests. You should have a, a concluding statement. The three dots here represent uh, the word therefore. The perimeter of the shape is 24 centimeters. Now I want to look at the uh, example on page, uh, at the bottom of page 17, and we have this composite shape, and it looks like, uh, it looks like almost a square, but not quite. Uh, what we have to do in this instance is we actually have to complete this shape, like so, so that it's almost like we're dealing with uh, a complete square. And, and then from here, you can sort of tell that um, this missing length here down here this would also have to be three centimeters right because this three and this three would add up to the six across here uh, notice how this side is six centimeters and we have four centimeters here that would make this side two centimeters now that we have this information we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of this slanted side because essentially we have a right angle triangle and this is side A, this is side B, and this is side C. Uh, therefore, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. C squared is equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared. C squared is equal to 4 plus 9. C squared is equal to 13. I take the square root of both sides and c squared is approximately equal to 3.6. So this slanted side is roughly 3.6 centimeters. Now I can actually find the perimeter, therefore the perimeter is 4 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 6 centimeters plus 3 centimeters plus 3.6 centimeters and the total we get 10, 16, 19, 22.6 centimeters and then again let's have a concluding statement therefore the perimeter of this shape 
is 22.6 centimeters. Okay, great. So that concludes the lesson uh, for today. Again, uh, for homework, please come to class with uh, your own set of notes from the video. Uh, summarize some of the key points uh, that you think are important from the video and come to class with some questions. All right, take care.